Well, uh, YouTube, it's Michael one more time. Um, today I wanted you to show a little uh, book. Well, sort of, it's a, it's a ring book uh, that I bought myself. It's uh, The Art of Electronics by uh, Paul Horowitz and Thomas C. Hayes. Uh, well, uh, the book itself, The Art of Electronics, is considered to be a yeah, it's it's a best-selling standard standard uh, book. This, uh, what I have here, is not the textbook, it's uh, the student manual, right? The student manual for the art of electronics, which, as a matter of fact, I thought that this is, um, well, it's, it's it's the book, but actually it's an electronics course uh, that is based on the book. Um, well, it's, it's, it's very readable. I skimmed it so far. I, I, I don't really work it through because I have it only for a few days. But um, you see, it's uh, based on a course that is given at, given at Harvard University. So I thought, well, Cambridge University, you see. I thought, well, that's probably very hard, but, but actually it isn't. Uh, um, well, well, it's a course that, that, that covers analog basics, right? Foundations, transistors. Field effect transistors, operation amplifiers, uh, filters, um, oscillators, uh, voltage regulators, and it covers a, a digital part, uh, general digital electronics and um, the combination of digital and analog electronics, uh, microcomputers, micro microprocessors. So in the last chapter, you actually build a complete uh, computer system from scratch on the chip level. Um, well, and, and, uh, well, I really wasted a lot of thought about it because this is a very funny course. Uh, if you see it, the first two pa uh, three pages, you see this analogy about um, showing what a resistor is, right? Uh, that, and, uh, the, and uh, what current and resistance is compared to this, this tank of water and what voltage is. It's Right, that's it's very basic and it's very well. <laughs> this reminds me on a on a on a course with an with an electronic set I had when I was a kid. So it begins very basic, but then and all the the basic things you need to know about electronics and 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 very very soon goes into that deeper. So also uh, like uh, the things w w what you can do wrong about measuring and stuff, all that, and, and then it goes deeper and deeper and deeper, and this is a good, it's, a, it's really a good course, and, and I, I really suspect that it is quite worth working it through. It's written in la uh, English language, so for the folks of you who don't uh, read English very well, it's probably not very fitting, and, and I don't think there is a German um, translation of this book available, but I wouldn't do it, because it's 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 written very uh uh yeah it's, it's a very special style it's it's very it's written very funny and and this all would would get lost if you um, if you had a german translation and another a special thing about this this book all the schematics and drawings in this book are hand drawn you see um on the first glance, this might look like it was done with a with a computer program, but actually those schematics and those drawings are all hand drawn. You can see this if you take a look at this. Uh, it's all hand drawn. So because uh, the instructors think that uh, students should should be encouraged to draw things by hand, so every schematic and every uh, picture in the book is drawn by hand. And well, uh, you see. I'm at a German, uh, well, University of Applied Sciences, as it is called, and and, and we, uh, for us, it's very unusual that that a, that a course would would really be held on such a level. Um, it's probably because this whole Harvard University thing is very expensive, so uh, you'll probably need to find a way to repay the students for the kind of money they paid. So it's it's very it's very okay. And, and I, when I got the money, I will buy the textbook too. But the textbook is about seventy euros, and this book is about forty euros. So it's it's not very inexpensive. But um, this is one of the books uh, that's probably really worth buying. 
I mean, um, I don't have many electronic books. Most most of the books I have uh, of the books I have is about informatics and computers and and, and mathematics and uh, and informatics and you know mm, that's what I have. So I don't have many electronic book books. I have a few books. Uh, this is a. Mm, a data the um, TDL data book uh, original uh, I bought already uh, one buck for it because uh, my uh, university library uh, sorts those things out and then you can buy it for a for a single buck. Uh, I also have this teacher shank. Um, this is a very old edition of teacher shank, but I only paid one buck for this. Uh, I have uh, a book about transistors that's very uh, written on a very high. Uh, level this book this is very this is heavy duty this is really a, this is it's a graded text for physicists more like you know this is a very very simple book I was very uh, disappointed about that but okay uh, that's what I got and so I think uh, this is a book worth buying for all people who want to have a very solid and a very and and, and Grounding cores and electronics. I, I can really, um, well, um, yeah. You see, the one thing is that this book isn't written independently. It's based on the textbook, The Art of Electronics. I didn't know that, but uh, when you read it, it is re it is possible to use it by it by itself, right? You don't have this whole uh, background of the textbook, but it is possible to use it by itself. So that's what I wanted to see, uh, to tell you, because I didn't know that this, those things were really separate things. I thought that this was just the uh, the ring book version of the textbook, but that's not the case. It's it's a course, right?